Transmission Gear Train Assembly Check the bearing surfaces and splines of output shaft for any damages. Place output shaft. Insert second gear in the shaft. Insert needle roller bearing into the shaft. Lubricate the bearing. Check second gear for free rotation. Ensure the ring is molly coated. Place second gear synchronizer ring on the gear cone surface. Lubricate the ring and gear cone by putting oil. Insert first second synchronizer back into the shaft. Ensure the groove for shift fork in synchronizer pack faces first gear. Ensure the ring is not molly coated. Place first gear synchronizer ring. Lubricate the ring. Check the gear profile for any damages. Insert first gear in the shaft. Insert needle bearing into the shaft. Lubricate the bearing. Check free rotation by rotating the gear. Match the groove on the shaft and collar bush. Insert collar bush into the shaft. Insert 2.5 mm ball. Insert the bearing. Insert spacer bush. Use special tool to press the bearing into the shaft. Check the end play of second and first gear with filler gauge. Ensure the end play is between 150 to 300 microns. Insert the washer. Insert speedo wheel into the shaft. Insert the circlet. Check the gear profile. Insert third output gear into the shaft. Insert needle roller bearing. Lubricate the bearing. Ensure the ring is molly coated. Place third gear synchronizer ring on the gear cone surface. Ensure the groove for shift fork in the synchronizer pack faces third gear. Insert third fourth synchronizer pack into the shaft. Insert the circlip.
take fourth gear input shaft. Check the gear profile. Insert needle ruler bearing in the shaft. Ensure the ring is not mollycoated. Place fourth gear synchronizer ring. Assemble fourth gear input shaft assembly on output shaft assembly. Counter shaft assembly. Press the bearing in the same way as earlier. Insert oil splasher into the shaft. Insert the circlip. Place both the shafts together on the fixture. 